Hi. again, hey. Hey, green screen. Massive pain in the arse. You know that, lads? Team review. It's all well and good until you get the green screen out, right? You know, it's all fun. You know, look at your teams and shit. That shit's easy. This fucking thing right here. You ready? You ready? Wait. Wait. No, you, you, you see, you, you see this shit, man. It's in, it's uncontrollable. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. All right, boys and girls, so we're gonna be doing a team review today. You guys have been begging me to do this. Like, I've had tons of comments asking for team reviews. I've had people on Twitter asking me for team reviews. I've had a fuck ton of requests. I got a lot of you guys sending me teams, okay? So I just wanna clear up. I cannot review every single one of your teams, okay? I got like 30 something people send me their teams, which by the way, thank you, that's, that's awesome. I know, you know, you guys love the series and stuff, which is great and it's good to see the support and stuff. But obviously I cannot review all of your teams because we'll be here all fucking day so i'm going to be doing 10 teams today completely randomly selected so if i don't pick your team out i do apologize but we will be doing this in the future so you know just stay tuned for uh for when we do another team review and i'll, I'll try and get as many of your teams done as, as as i can for the next one and stuff like that so yeah, yeah that okay okay so let's i ain't gonna mess around all right we're just gonna we're gonna jump straight into the teams Team review. All right, boys and girls. So team number one, we're off to a juicy start. First things first, full chemistry, and that's bonus points with me. If you guys know the, the team reviews by now, you know that me, I love me a full chem team. And if you're not full chem, you're gonna lose those bonus points. He's gone with Essien and Zanetti, which are two fantastic crime icons there, especially that Essien. Uh, I, um, I don't want to say I regret doing Sol Campbell and Seedorf. I know, I, I definitely don't regret them, but Essien was definitely, uh, I was definitely thinking about getting Essien. Fucking delicious. Other than that, you've got that 91 Mbappe, who of course is ridiculous. I, I'm, I did, that's an insane card. You've got a defensive nightmare to deal with there. I would hate seeing that in Fuck Jams. David Luiz and Joe, oh my God. You've got a Bernardo Silva, who is incredible in this game for whatever, I mean, he has a great card, but I don't think anyone expected him to be as good as he was. Realistically, this team has no flaws. This is a, this is kind Kind of a perfect team if I'm not like I'm, I'm being serious there's no there's nowhere that I would like say improve you know but yeah obviously the idea of this series is for me to give you guys suggestions on upgrades of, of, of players and stuff no one jumps out with me here like that needs to be improved if I'm being totally honest there's there's no card here that I'd be like improve that. that that's a nearly flawless team maybe like and I'm, I'm, I'm really clutching at straws here maybe you could upgrade Decore for an icon like an, another icon CDM someone like I don't know uh, Makalele or something but Decore is fire in this game so like I wouldn't even say you need to do that Maybe an informed name or something like that, but again, like you don't really need it. So yeah, so I, I guess we'll just jump straight into the the verdict. I'm gonna give this a nine and a half out of ten. We are starting strong today, boys and girls. All right, so give this guy a round of applause for an absolute fire team. Uh, yeah, I'm jealous as fuck of that. That's a nice ass team. Team review. Um, what the fuck's going on here, lads? All right. What are your what the fuck are these teams? I, I can't I this isn't fair. What the fuck? I mean again like this is such a good team I there's nowhere that jumps out at me uh, that, that needs improving I mean it's kind of so it's like a kind of it's a really nice quite like you've got that red Neymar um, Like what the fuck EA like why couldn't I have one you've got that 90 Del Gleish I think that would be his middle card which I, I can only imagine is absolutely filth You've got Sador who you know is amazing in this game. I, I personally love him you've got that Europa League one Jesus. I am really pissed off about the Juan Jesus. I don't know if I told you guys about this. I, I think I'm surely did, but maybe I didn't. Uh, I invested in his card when he first came out. I invested in three or four Juan Jesuses, and then he started to come down in price, and I didn't want to hold on to him, so I ended up selling them for cheaper than I bought them, so I made a, a fuck ton of loss on him, but if I just kept them, I would have made a fuck ton of money on him, so I, I, I'm, a, I'm an idiot for that. Yeah, like, literally, there's no, there's, there's no immediate, like, improvements in this team for me to like say you need to get if that makes sense like yeah another Ben Yedda by the way one to watch I forgot to mention the last guy's team Ben Yedda is crazy good in this game I don't get it I, he has a good card but fuck me alright he, he absolutely slaps me I've just realised 
This guy's front three all have five star weak foot. <laughs> yeah, boy. So yeah, this is a crazy good team. As for improvements, I literally do not even know, lad. I don't even know where to start. Maybe that Tonali could get upgraded for, uh, I don't even know, like maybe the, the future stars Tonali. I know it's expensive, but that, that's literally like the only position I'm looking at that, that could do, maybe do an improvement. So yeah, this is tough. Um, again, like uh, this is another nine and a half out of 10 for sure. Not really anywhere that I would improve. It's full chem, which gets the bonus points and it's just a fire team. Can I tell you something? I love it. Team, review. Okay, team number three. Once again, another juicy team. Um, what? Lad? What? Who the fuck is this asshole? So yeah, this is another great team, okay? Not quite as good as the last two, admittedly, but it is still fire. You know, you've got that Shevchenko, who I think is amazing in this game. Really good striker that's not like... He's not crazy fast, and he's not crazy good at dribbling. He's, he's okay at both of those. But what he's really good at is just being in a really good position and just scoring really nice goals. His finishing is immaculate in this game. Got that Rijkaard, who personally I wasn't too fond of, I have to admit, but I've seen a lot of people who really like that Rijkaard card. That was weird, Rijkaard card. I see him a lot in Fight Champions, and he is a solid card. He, he's not bad at all. I just fit for me, I like my midfielders with a lot of pace, and, and obviously Rijkaard is massively lacking there. You've gone with Daniel James, who, again, just dicks people in Fight Champs. I, I, I didn't use him too much, I have to admit, but I didn't really like him either. I wasn't a massive fan. Again, I didn't, I probably, I needed to give him more of a chance. I found his finishing a bit weak, that was all. Yeah, this is a fire-ass team. Again, the only real standout problems I would say about this team are the fullbacks. Mario Real I mean, of course, is is kind of shit. You know, he's not great at all. He's really weak. His pace is eh. Uh, so yeah, that's a definite. There's definitely areas in which you can improve uh, in terms of left back and right back. Uh, I mean, with right back, realistically, I really did like Wan Bissaka in this game. So I would just get his inform. He's really cheap now. I always one to watch. I think there's like 20, 30k. So for me, like improvements for this team, just right off the bat, I would go with uh, an inform or or a one to watch Wan Bissaka. Uh, I would definitely get rid of Mario Rui. Uh, has for the upgrade, who would, who's a good Serie A left back? They're, what comes to mind is Alexandro, but I'm sure there's better, there's better left backs now than Alexandro. I'm trying to think. The, uh, Theo Hernandez has a second in form. He is quite expensive, but a really, really nice card, Theo Hernandez. Uh, so there, there are definitely options for left back for sure. Yeah, still a really nice team. So I would literally, all I would do with this team pretty much is upgrade the Wambasaka for his in form and get a new Serie A left back. Uh, but other than that, it's a really nice team. You've got Kimmich, uh, Shevchenko, Komen, or Kuman rather. Uh, yeah, really nice, really nice team. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it an 8.27 out of 10. Yeah. 8.27 team review okay lads another juicy ass team i think this is a full game as well oh, guys i'm about to end this man's whole career yeah, no no why oh no 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 so yeah other than the right mid which low-key triggers me i know that most of you guys don't give a fuck about full chem but it just personally triggers me uh, but other than that a really nice team sadov a, a cracking card like i was saying before uh, you got guardiola who somehow people are still using like i thought people would when i when i saw guardiola in the icon swap set one i was like I can see a lot of people getting him, but people aren't going to be using him uh, for longer than a month. And people still use Guardiola, and he's still pretty good. So I'm very surprised about that. Green link to David Villa, which is obviously fire. David, David Villa is an amazing card in this game. Your back four is literally giving me nightmares. I mean, I have that that kind of that back four. I don't have Zakaria. I wanted to do it, but I just couldn't I couldn't justify getting him when I can literally get a Kanji for free. Obviously, Kanate, amazing. Noya. Noya... Neuer's weird for me. He makes unbelievable saves, but does the dumbest shit for me. So I'm, I'm kind of mixed on Neuer. And Babu, of course, fire card. And, and Roberto Carlos is amazing too. So yeah, this is a really nice team. Akuna as well, like I just realised, is is getting that nice-ass green link to Balassi, which is cool. It's a really nice team, and I really like it. Again, the only area that I, I would say that needs improving, not just because he's off-chem, but generally speaking, I feel like there are better position or just better players than Perisic in this game. But maybe you really like him. I He's okay. I just think there's better ones. Rashika, 
Is Rashika better than Paris? I'd say Rashika's right wing card is it, quite, it's not too expensive right now. I think it's about 120k. I would definitely say that's, a, that's an upgrade you could make. Or actually, I've just realized if you switch Zakaria with Kanate, you do get the green link to Mbabu. And then what you could do is just go with any Spanish right mid. Uh, so you could go with Adama Traore, who, you know, goes without saying is overpowered as fuck. He's got the, uh, the, the screen card and the 83 inform, who, which both look pretty good. There's Gerard Moreno, uh, who I personally really like. I know it's kind of a, like an acquired taste, Gerard Moreno, because he's not the quickest in the world. But personally, I really like Gerard Moreno. And if you were playing him as a cam, uh, switching in game, then I think Gerard Moreno is a good option. So you could do something along those lines. Yeah, other than that, a fire team. Uh, really nice stuff there. I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's really nice. Perisic kind of lets the team down just a little bit. Uh, but other than that, other than that, nice stuff. Uh, I do like it. Team review. Okay, lads. Uh, wait, what? What the fuck? What the fuck is a, a Ziv? So yeah, this team is absolutely fire. Look at that team. Holy shit. I am loving that team. It's it's I wouldn't say it's similar to the front three is quite similar to mine, you know, Butra and, and Ozzyman. I obviously don't have a Kone, but I did really like a Kone. Uh yeah, I like that team a lot. I love it. In fact, it makes me really horny. I'm guessing with that Akanji, we're gonna be getting the Akanji from the uh, the featured squad, which uh, I think is a really good idea and, uh, and a really good card. That card is amazing. Again, loving that front three. Ozzyman, an amazing card in this game. Butra, who uh, is just the, the most beautiful boy. Uh what a what a legend. And a Kone, who I thought was really good really surprised me actually because he doesn't have the craziest shooting stats but he was really good at shooting when I used him. Alright then, keep your secrets. And yeah, that midfield is also really juicy. SCN's prime, once again, just an, a monster card. Thomas Delaney has got a really nice headliner card and that Thomas Party is also a really nice card. So yeah, I'm really liking the team, really digging it and obviously when you do get the feature squad of Kanji, that defence is going to be absolutely fire. As for improvements, again, I've already mentioned a Kanji but other than that I would maybe say a uh, Mendy. I know Felamendi's overpowered, but I, I feel like there's probably better left backs at this stage. You know, we, we are in March, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to move away from people like Felan Mendy. All right, it's time we made these upgrades. All right, I'm sick of seeing that boy in Fuck Champ still. So maybe you could go with like a left back Semedo. I don't think he's the cheapest in the world, but uh, he's probably worth the upgrade. Really nice team. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. These teams so far, lads, like seriously, like these are some fucking nice ass teams. I am loving everything. Every single one of them so far, they, they are mwah, beautiful. Team review. Okay, lads, we've got another team looking like full chem. It is full chem, if I'm not mistaken. So, once again, we are doing good with the chemistry here, boys. I absolutely love to see it. Chemistry must be respected. We've got some interesting icons here. So obviously we've got Overmars at the left wing position, who I believe is one of the most underrated icons in this game for sure. Overmars is so good in this game. Like he is so blisteringly quick. It's like he's got the most broken pace. We've gone with Messi, who uh, it goes out saying is good. Uh, we've got an interesting little trio of, of, of like Frenchies uh, in the middle there. So we've got Kante, who's obviously good. Pogba, I personally would say Pogba's not that great in this game. I might be wrong about that. If you use utilize the five star skills, I guess he's quite good, but I don't know. I, I for me I feel like Pogba is kind of average i don't know obviously ben yed is overpowered but again I, we're in march lads we we need to stop this shit all right i'm sick of seeing these sweaty fucking people shut your fucking mouth shut the fuck up you cunt we've got griezmann who again is a fire card so yeah it's a really really decent looking team i i wouldn't say i wouldn't say it's perfect again the pogba i feel like it could do with improvements ben Yedder could do with an improvement uh nesta nesta's good but uh is that a hunter card? Yeah, I very much like the team, but as for improvements, I would definitely say that maybe second inform decore is better than Pogba, in my opinion. So I would probably make that upgrade. I think that second inform decore is amazing. Ben Yedda, I would probably replace for someone like, uh, for me personally, I would go with someone like Moussa Dembele's Future Stars, who's about 100k at the minute. Probably a little bit less than that. That's what I would do. Although I'm not sure. I think he is a force of skiller, isn't he, Moussa? He is a force of skiller. He is only three star weak foot, though. So, uh, you know, you have to bear that in mind. For me, though, I really like like Moose Dembele in this game, so that's what I would do. But other than that, a really nice team. I'm going to give it an 8... Point one seven. I'm, I'm just, lads, why do you even want the ratings? Like, uh, I'm just shouting shit. <laughs> team, review. Okay, lads, moving on to the next team. This is an interesting team. Uh, Fred? 
That's a face I have not seen in a very long time. A lot of great players in here, of course. That Kanate I'm seeing a lot. We've got Upa Makanu linked up with him. Uh, what a card Upa Makanu is, by the way. Like, uh, I was seeing some people say that Upa Makanu wasn't, like, worth it. But for me, I feel like it definitely was. There's not too many Bundesliga centre-backs. He has incredible pace, amazing standing tackle and strength. There, are, there wasn't a perfect card, but to me, I feel like it's a fire card. I like this. This is cute. I want this inside of me. We've got player of the month, Bamiang. That is a fake that I have not seen in a very long time and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of happy about that uh, so yeah this is a very interesting team um, I'm just wondering we've got Fred here now okay Fred might be quite good in this game I don't know I haven't seen the card I'm not gonna lie that kind of slipped under my radar but I am seeing an off-cam hour that offends me a little bit. So for me, for upgrades straight off the bat, I would just go with that second informed decore or just any French centre mid for that matter, a Kante, anyone like that, just to get the links to uh, to Awa to get that full chemistry. I'm also seeing that goalkeeper Galashki. For me, I feel like there are definitely better goalkeepers in the Bundesliga than Galashki. I've not used I've used him a few times, Galashki. He's okay. Uh, but I would definitely just go with like a Neuer. And yeah, other than that, it's a pretty fire team. I really like it. I would give this an eight and a, an eight out of ten, you know. I would say it would be definitely higher if the hour was on full chem. So if you did have a French centre mid there, I'd probably give it more of like an eight point five. But uh, I'm gonna give it an eight because, you know, the off chem. You guys know the rules, alright? You you can't be fucking with me like that. Team review. Um, what 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 the fuck is this? What is this sorcery? You're gonna kill me. You're gonna give me a heart. Attack. Don't give me a. No, no. I'm not talking to you until you stop being angry. Okay. Okay. But yeah, jokes aside, lad, this is not a perfect team, but I like some of the players in here. So yeah, straight off the bat, there's a lot of off chem players in here, so I, it kind of annoys me. Uh, I'm just trying to think how you could tidy this up. Um, Zayek is just automatically a problem because he's not from the, any of the leagues that you've chosen. So for me, I would drop Zayek and put a, a, a Syria midfielder there. I'm trying to think of a good one off the top of my head. No one really comes to mind, to be quite honest with you, as cams. Uh, Dabala's, eh, he's okay. There's Alejandro Gomez, someone like that maybe I, I would personally go with, maybe an icon. If I'm being totally honest though, for like, for if, it, if this were my team, I know this is your team, you do what you want to do, lad. If this was my team though, I'd probably just make this full Serie A. If, if it were me, I'd probably drop that Thiago Silva, I'd probably drop that Tau, and I'd probably drop that uh, that Kalo Navas. I would then also drop the collar of and probably go with someone a little bit quicker, uh, someone like Alexandro, and then probably something like... Is, is that Felipe guy, you know, the, the future stars guy? I'd probably go with someone like him at centre-back. Um, and then in gold, just anyone, Donnarumma, any sort of lad. So, yeah, for me, I, I like parts of the team and I, I don't like other parts. What I like about the team, Politano, what a card, fire. Balotelli, uh, it looks a really nice card. Alexis Sanchez was decent. Uh, Barella's a nice-ass card. Obviously, Smaldini is an absolute legend. And, you know, uh, the, the actual players themselves are actually all pretty good. It's just the, uh, the chemistry that pisses me off. So, I'm going to give... Give this uh, a 7 out of 10. I do think it's a nice team, but you lose a lot of points with me for the lack of chemistry, okay? That's just how, that's how we do things here. Team review. Okay, lads. This is getting spicy. So, let's address some things right off the bat. Screen PK. I just want to talk to him. What? Why do you have a shotgun? Just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to shoot him. I just want to talk to him. You can't shoot him. Wait, what? What are you doing? Still haven't recovered from nightmares of this guy. Uh, we are in March, and I, I still dream about PK fucking giving me his nasty ass six foot four high medium dick that front three is absolutely spicy a lot of money has been invested in those three players they were none of those cards were cheap whatsoever especially the, that Werner and that Zane uh, so I don't I definitely don't envy you spending that much money on that front three but I, I'm sure it was worth it because they are nice ass cards we've gone with Balak there at the center mid position of uh, an absolutely amazing icon uh, he was good last year he's he's probably really good this year I definitely envy you quite a lot for getting that Jovic moments I don't I should have done it I was gonna do it and I wasn't gonna do it and then I was gonna do it I just was so back and forth and I opted not to do it and I 
I kind of regret it. Yeah, just an overall a really nice team. So for me, again, I, I, I'm such a chemistry whore. This is what I would do. I would probably get rid of Semedo for Carver Howe. No, I know Carver Howe's not the fastest, okay? Don't bite my head off just yet. Just hear me out, okay? Get Carver Howe to get Jovic on the full chem. I'd then switch PK and Diego Carlos around, and then I'd probably drop PK because PK, you know, the less PKs in the world, the better uh, for sure. I would drop PK uh, for Varane. That's what I would do because that would get the perfect link to Ariola, which would should fix all your chemistry problems, I think. So yeah, that's what I would do. But other than that, a nice ass team. The actual cards in here are all fire. Maybe uh, Semedo could be, you know, is probably the uh, the weakest aspect of the team. Still an overpowered card, though. I'm gonna give it an eight point. 8 out of 10. I really like it. Front free and Jovic fire. Um, you know, the midfield's nice and juicy. Defense is really nice. So, yeah. Good ass team. Team review. Okay, lads. So, this is the final team, if I'm not mistaken, right? This is a very nice team. Uh, and we've got we've got a lot of juicy players in here. So, let's start off in, of course, the best place. Vitra Gueno. Let's go! Um, we've got in for Messi. Casually. We've got a pretty interesting back four. You know, we've got some good players and some shit ones. Tellers off chem is... Yeah, kind of air. Carver Howe is, you know, not the best. If you can have any BVA ride back, it's definitely not my first choice. And considering you don't really need to chem there, that's, that's, that's an interesting ride back. The front, uh, the, the, the back two, though, are really nice. Varane and Condobia. Both medium high as well, which is awesome. That's uh, that's cool. I like that. And the midfield also looking pretty interesting. Okay, so you've got Akuna, who, again, a great card. Bartra. Oh, I really like that Bartra. I did not expect to like him as much as I have, but whenever I've used him, I've, I've just genuinely like had so much fun with him. And then we've got Rai card there, so it's a juicy looking front. Uh, uh, ba 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 it's a juicy looking midfield. Uh, the front three. Oh my god, I've just realized. Like, well, I didn't just realize, but that front three. Messi, Boutra, and Lower headlock. Oh my lord. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of things I like about this team. There are a few things I don't like about it, namely the chemistry. You know, I, go, I'm, I feel like a broken record at this point, but it pisses me off. So how would we fix this? That would, this might be, eh, this could be tough. So there's not too much you can do about Kuna in terms of his chemistry, because obviously Messi is right mid. You need a left mid in this team, and I wouldn't say you should get rid of any of your, of your maybe you could get rid of Rai card as a mm, Probably not. No, I wouldn't even bother. So I would just keep Akuna on seven. Uh, that's okay. As for Tellez, I would drop. Who would I drop for Tellez? So I would guess you would just save up for an uh, for an icon left back. That's probably what I would do. But it's just not going to work any longer. I can't stand you. And then I'd probably upgrade Carver Howe for someone like I don't know, headliner Kappa, for example, could be a good option there. Yeah. Other than that, a really <laughs> fucking nice ass team. I'm going to give that a nine out of ten. No, nine point one. I don't, yeah, 9.1. Messi upset. Again, the only things letting this down are the chemistry and just a couple of choices, I would say, that aren't the best. But it's an overall a really nice team. Team review. Okay, lads. So that about concludes things. I hope you did enjoy this episode of Team Review. I'm sorry I couldn't get to more of your guys' teams. I know you guys really want to like your, for me to check out your teams and stuff. I did look at all your teams and, I, you know, I saw all your kind messages on Twitter and stuff. So I do really appreciate you guys sending me your teams and, and showing your support and stuff. I do genuinely appreciate it. It's stuff though i can't get to every single one of your teams it's just there's too many of you like i remember when we started this series i got like nine or ten of you guys sending me teams and now i'm getting like 35 it's it, the support is crazy you guys fucking love this series which is awesome and uh yeah uh, i'm thankful as ever that, that is, it's, it's awesome we will do more of these i'm not too sure when i will let you know uh at some point maybe we could do one for for 10k sub something like that because we are cruising through 5k at this rate so if we keep going at this rate then and we should get to 10k and fairly soon i think so yeah stay tuned for more of these lads i'll let you know when we do another one uh as for as for upcoming content not too sure uh, there's meant to be a new promo i think by the time this video goes out there should be a new promo uh revolving around this argentinian thing i haven't really looked into it too much but uh yeah there's obviously that that new released icon who looks not great i'm not gonna lie so yeah hopefully that's a good promo hope you can get some good content out of that uh we'll, we'll do more objective videos and stuff like that but uh yeah see you guys in the next one right Peace.